The world fights for things that don't matter. All these social justice things. Look at the pro-Palestinian protests that are going on right now. What? Have you seen interviews of the, when people actually talk to the people who are protesting? They have no idea what they're talking about. You know why? Because of what we just read. They have refused to love the truth. And so they're given over into deception. Well, everybody wants to belong, okay? And this is what's so beautiful about our faith is that everyone can belong. The Lord can save anyone. There's nobody out there that is beyond forgiveness. Anybody could. But the Lord desires us to go tell them about it. How come it is that there's so many people that go out after all these protests that don't even know what they're protesting for, and yet there's very few people telling them about Jesus? Like if they could believe in the things that they're protesting for, surely they could believe the truth. If you could believe a lie, you could easily believe the truth. But the world has gone after the lie. Don't believe the things of the world. All the things that are protested for, all those social justice things, they're lies, straight up. They may help people here in some way, some people, but they don't set people free. You know, Jesus was born a slave, right? Into a, a slave culture. How come he didn't set them free from all their physical slavery? Because he knew they would still be in bondage spiritually. So when Paul says, these people are deceived by the enemy, they're taken captive by him to do his will. He's saying they're in slavery spiritually. And there's only one thing that can set them free from that slavery. It's Jesus Christ. And so if they don't have Jesus, it doesn't matter. You could, you could set the whole world free from any type of slavery and give them everything they want. But they would still be a slave spiritually. They would still be a slave to themselves. Because the person who chases after the world is a person who is a slave to the world. Maybe it's not physically, and maybe that's why a lot of people don't see it. They think that going out and chasing after all the things of the world is actually freedom. It's not. It'll only put you in more bondage. But if you do things God's way, much like the situation that I told you, my wife and I, if you do things God's way, he will set you free from that. He will set you free from the power of the enemy in your life. He'll set you free from the power of the world. He will set you free from yourself. The greatest captor of you, yourself. He will set you free from that. That you can live in true freedom with him. That's what God desires. Don't go after the things of the world. The world's going to end. The sun is going down on it. It's going to end up completely gone. But the things of God will remain forever.